FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update on this Thursday, the 24th of February. And we're looking at the Dow down 657 at 32,476. Uh, it broke that left side low. It stopped there right just a tad under it yesterday. Uh, that left side low the 24th of January at 32,150. And what I'm going to talk about in my uh, show coming up, the Tiger Conditions Up. I need a chart. Wow. How could I have forgotten that? I thought I was all ready. And what we're going to be looking at, there it is, um, is the, the weekly and the monthly charts, the implications, certainly the implication in the monthly chart having taken out the 14-period exponential moving average for the first time since it was down to lows back in March, April of 2020. This is something to take into uh, consideration. And certainly when we're looking at the S&P, which is down, so the Dow's down 709 at the 2004, 24, down 2.1%. S&P is down 1.7%, down 73 at 4151. It's also gone down to a lower low than the left side, 4222, low of the 24th. That This is really important um, in, the, in the aspect that it shows the weakness that the, that support level didn't hold, and that just puts another uh, little kink in the arm, a chink in the arm. What well, we're looking at in the weekly chart, same thing, the dreaded H pattern, and that monthly chart, I'm going to spend a little time showing you what this means with the Roman Chapman Wave, Roman candle uh, of January right here, and what this February breakdown below the low is, means, and I'll talk about that soon in my show. One, two, three, QQQ, three, two, four, point twenty five down 5.10, down 1.58%, also a little bit better. Actually trying to come back here from the low, it also took out, it actually took out yesterday, day before yesterday, no, so yesterday it took out the left side low of 334.15. It tried to rally. It actually did rally, and then it plummeted. So now what we're looking at is the monthly, weekly chart is sell mode. Monthly chart is really close to the sell signal. A lot of implications there. Let me just get to this quickly because gold had a huge move to the upside. It ran to 1976 and 1976 good year. And it's now down at the 1939 level, but it's still at $30. In leg D, there's a lot to talk about. Crude oil had a huge move up and it's still holding most of the gains. It went to 100.54. It's now at 97.70. And I'll talk about the TLT, which tried to rally 